So I just wanted to share this real quick. So this is the Parallels Hypervisor on Mac OS. So this is one of the recommended hypervisors, but you do have to pay for it, it's not free. Now I told myself for years that I would not use this because um, I just kind of expect this for free from things like VMware, which they, they kind of want you to pay for these days too, but you can get it for free. Um, but yeah, like VMware and VirtualBox, I, I mostly use VirtualBox for a really long time, but I ran into so many issues with it. Like there's this one issue where under certain circumstances it would just burn through your battery really quick on Mac OS. And it had other issues where it just stopped working. I had so many problems with it. I just stopped using virtualization on my Mac. So any case, on here I have a Debian installed. So this is Debian 12 installed on Parallels and Parallels has been working pretty smoothly. No issues because this is like the platform that it targets. It, it, it targets Mac OS. So, um, you know, you run, run Windows, run Linux, run whatever you want on uh, Parallels and it is pretty excellent. So yeah, this is me running a Debian virtual machine on my, on Mac OS. So yeah, this, this is on a MacBook Pro on a 2019 16 inch MacBook Pro with an, it's a lower end one with an i7 in it. And um, yeah, so you can, uh, this is running GNOME. So you, you know, you hit the windows or the command key, right? And it'll pop up like this. You can see all your apps, see how quick and responsive that is. Ho hopefully it captures that in the, in my screen recording. Hopefully you can see how smooth, and how smooth that comes, hopefully that comes through in the recording. But yeah, that is going very smoothly. You can switch desktops and stuff. You can uh, launch, like a file manager, see it's a little bit laggy, that this is actually kind of unacceptably laggy, but you can mostly work with it. Once you've got this open, you can uh, do, do all the basic things you would with it, um, you know, browse files and, and so on and so forth. So it, it works pretty well, like it's workable, you could use it and, um, you know, you can open up like new terminals, see that, that open like instantly. The browsers are gonna take a, you know, maybe 30 seconds to load up which um, actually that was, that was pretty quick, I think, because I opened it up previously. You know, you could like watch um, a good example just to gauge basic desktop performances. Can you watch stuff on YouTube? And it takes a second for it to load, but yeah, it's it's not super fast, like a, we're doing something directly on your desktop, but um, yeah, basically, yeah, like it it plays videos like that. I don't want to play that too long, but um, any case, yeah, so it, it you can basically use it as a desktop and it'll work just fine. Any work you want to do in this environment, you can. Um, yeah, switch back over to uh, my other desktop over here. Yeah, this has been working out really, really nicely. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm also gonna try Windows 11 on here too. But yeah, um, Tiger VNC, I've been using to connect to some of my Raspberry Pi robots and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so it costs money, but if you want to virtualize stuff on your Mac, I mean, you could probably tinker around with VMware or something. I'm, I'm kind of tired of virtual walks, plus I don't really like Oracle that much. So uh, I'm happy to not use their stuff. And I, as expensive as this is to pay for this, it, I, I think it's probably worth it for what I'm planning to get out of it. It may not be worth it for everybody, but yeah, I, I'm happy with it. So just something I wanted to quick share with everyone. Um, leave a comment down below if you have an opinion on this or if you, if you have your own preferences or your own experiences you wanna share. And uh, you know, remember to give me a thumbs up and uh, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon. You, you don't wanna miss out on all the great tech content we at. We're doing, doing like Raspberry Pis, electronics, coding, Python, Java, C++, Golang, all, all sorts of different things. Um, you know, electronics, uh, uh, networking, basically anything tech related. You don't wanna miss out on it, so make your YouTube feed better and hit that subscribe button. That's about it for today, so thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on that next video.